I'm Dean Miller, and here's Hollywood. A never-never land of dreams come true for hundreds of the most glamorous and exciting stars in the world. You're invited to go visiting with Joanne Jordan and me, and together we'll look into their homes, their careers, and especially their private lives. Today, a visit with the glamorous Jane Mansfield and her Mr. Universe husband, Mickey Hargitay, at their fabulous Beverly Hills home. Jane was born in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, but grew up in Dallas, Texas, where she attended public school. She married Paul Mansfield, a fellow student, when she was 16, and Jane's daughter, Janie Marie, was born the following year. In spite of being a mother, Jane enrolled in Southern Methodist University, but a lifelong ambition to become an actress finally prompted her to come to Hollywood. Paramount signed her, but nothing much happened, and Jane got a release to play opposite Dan Durier in a small film, The Burglar. During the shooting in Philadelphia, Jane managed the trip to New York and auditioned for the play, Will Success Foil Rock Hunter? Naturally, the blonde beauty got the role, and the rest is history. The girl can't help it. The wayward bus. Her marriage to Mickey Hargitay and her two latest films for 20th Century Fox, It Happened in Athens, and Loves of Hercules, in which she co-starred with husband Mickey. We'll meet them after this message. I'm not in a restaurant in Japan about to have sukiyaki. <laughs> I'm in the Beverly Hills home of Jane Mansfield and her husband, Mickey Hargitay. And Welcome, here they are. Dean. <laughs> See, listen, uh, you uh, had me take off my shoes. Why? <laughs> Because if you had them on, you couldn't walk through the carpet with them on. The carpets are very thick. Oh, really? Very makes, thick. Makes, makes your feet so good yes, when you walk it's in. like a massage. Oh. <laughs> what do you do now if you have a party of 50 to 100 people and you have them all take off their shoes? What happens when everybody's going to go home? Oh, well, they might line up with a better shoe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, you've done a tremendous job of redecorating here, both of you. Would you mind taking us on a little tour? Oh, yeah. righty. righty. How many rooms different. do you have here? We, oh, I don't know how many rooms I didn't I, I don't think we really ever counted it, but, uh... We have 13 bathrooms. That's as far as I got anything oh, definite. Gracious. Oh, this is quite attractive, this dining room. Now, what did you do here, uh, Mickey? Um, we had this beautiful ceiling, with, with, uh, which is uh, hand-painted. Uh, uh -huh. It's a house built 30 years ago, and uh, it's really beautifully done. So we tried to match this uh, ceiling uh, with mahogany all around the wall, so uh, we uh, paneled it, we paneled the whole uh, room. I, I repaneled it. <laughs> you repaneled yeah. the whole room. Yes. <laughs> and uh, also refurnished it. Now so this, this table here, is this what you always wanted, Janie? Yes, it's Hungarian marble, like Mickey. Uh. <laughs> and uh, it's actually, it's, it's a very good table. Mickey made the base. It's a wonderful uh -huh. table. It's very large. We had to have it made, of course, because of the size of the room and the required size of the table. But it's, I'm very fond of it. I oh. always wanted a marble top oh, dining room table. Oh, I can't blame you. That's beautiful. Now, understand, over there, that large window, that wasn't always there. There were a series of small windows. Is that right? That's right. We had, uh, you know, it's a uh, uh, Spanish Mediterranean type of home, which uh -huh. had three stories, and uh, had s small type of windows. And, uh, there were 150 windows that Mickey took out and put new louver windows <laughs> in and even knocked out the side of the house completely, just just in many rooms, knocked out one side of the house and put in glass. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> 150 windows. Yes, and, and uh, we put in long uh, sliding doors, which uh -huh. uh, brings us sort of outside, inside, and, and gives you a, a better... Uh, Type of Real California no. living. Oh, it certainly yeah. is. How about the den? I want to see that, too. Would you like to see it? Follow me. And you were so right when you said this is like sinking in, in thick, uh, deep grass. <laughs> it's kind of like ice skating. Oh, <laughs> so comfortable. But much warmer, especially see, now, when you're in This is gorgeous here. Now, what did you do in the den here, Mickey? Uh, first of all, we uh, built this wall, which is petrified wood. We uh, had a stone uh, brought in from Arizona. Painted um, yes. yes, yes, and and uh, we thought it's uh, quite uh, unusual and different. So it's, it's uh, heavy, actually. There are five tons of stone here, and we had to reinforce it from way downstairs in the playroom because it's, it's, it looks like wood, but it's rock. You know, it's petrified. And uh, this area, we put in a. Uh, it was uh, originally a window there, and we put in a. Uh, uh, an aquarium. A fish aquarium, yes. Aquarium with yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Did you ever go to a redecorator and say, uh, can you estimate the cost of redecorating this house? Uh, I tell you, when, when we moved in, <laughs> they actually, came to us. actually <laughs> we, had, we had nothing, uh, just, uh, just the bare walls and the ground. Oh. And we were lovely the place at the time, and, and, uh, and we, we did uh, try to get uh, you know, many people and talk to many people, but uh, the prices were so ridiculous that 
uh, almost made us laugh. So uh. we uh, tangled, uh, tangled with it tangled ourselves. With it. And a friend of ours, Glenn Holstein, helped us a lot. He uh, made sketches and, and made the uh, color schemes and everything. So the this ceiling's is copper, incidentally. Oh, yes, the yeah. ceiling is copper. This is doing it yourself the glamorous way, huh? Uh. <laughs> How about the living room? I'll show you the living room. We'll go you know, right it was so the funny place. because the house was so uh, large and we had to uh, practically whistle each other to find where we are so we also put in an intercom system in the whole house so uh -huh. we don't have problems anymore we just call from one room to another and, uh, and that's <laughs> what we can <laughs> well now the plaque up there Jane you know, that isn't a plaque it's a painting of what it's a mural it's our crest Jane J and M for Jane and Mickey uh -huh. and uh, it's just our crest Glenn, uh, Glenn Holsey painted this yes, with, uh, he did the murals on the piano as well the yeah. cupids behind you and the fountain in the living room here yes. and the <laughs> fountain on the outside <laughs> Well, it makes you feel, you know, there's something about water splashing. It's just wonderful. Yes, this is home. This is home to me, to <laughs> Mickey and to Jamie. We'll be back to find out more about this fine couple, their backgrounds and their futures after this message. Back we are in Beverly Hills, California, in the home of Jane Mansfield and Mickey Hargitay. I still have my shoes off, and I must say it's like walking around in soft sand. Even better. <laughs> Thank you. On the way up, I uh, noticed that you have a beautiful swimming pool, heart-shaped. Right down inside, underwater on the floor, it says, I love you, Janie. Oh, yes. You have underwater music, too, but <laughs> you didn't get that far, did you? <laughs> you do have underwater music? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice, you know, when you're swimming underneath to hear Brahms and such, Tchaikovsky, <laughs> and Elvis <laughs> Presley. <laughs> if you're that kind of a swimmer. Yeah. <laughs> We build a pool. Uh, actually, uh, we never spend a summer here yet. You know, we've been traveling so much, and uh, and we built a pool uh, last uh, last year. We finished it, and we're very proud of it. We think it looks uh, just wonderful. And you notice uh, all the uh, beautiful decking. It looks like marble. Yeah. We have all around the pool, which we got from concrete. And it's just really beautiful, just just fabulous. We we love it, but the only thing we never spend a summer <laughs> yet. <laughs> Next summer, so make a point. <laughs> We're still completing our bathhouse down there, by the way. When did you decide that you wanted to become Jane Mansfield, the movie star? Oh, I guess when I was just a little bitty girl. I I always wanted to be a motion picture actress, a film star. I just didn't see any other way of life since I was old enough to think. Well, now, Janie, do you feel that you're a product of just publicity? I feel that publicity has helped me tremendously, probably more so than it's helped most people. But naturally, though publicity is very important, talent is the most important thing, and you have to have the right mixture, the right blending of, of talent and exposure. Now, how old were you when you started training for your career, developing this talent? In school, about six. I took dramatic lessons. I, I went to three universities. I was a drama major and theater arts major right here at UCLA. And I took dancing and singing and all kinds of things to develop myself aesthetically. <laughs> <laughs> do you, uh, you play the violin? Yes, I do, when I have a chance. And the piano, I may brag about oh, it. Oh, Mickey plays the piano, too. I don't too. play too much, <laughs> but Jane is really cheap. Did you, uh, did you ever consider going into a musical uh, career, musical comedy? Perhaps? Yes, yes, I, I did. I took lessons, my f violin lessons in Southern Methodist University when I was just a little girl, and my violin teacher said I'd be in Carnegie Hall one day playing the violin. Well, I'd been in Carnegie Hall, but it wasn't playing the violin. <laughs> <laughs> you bought a ticket and went in with this and somebody else, right? Uh -huh. Well, now you're appearing now at the Dunes Hotel. Yes, I'm appearing in my own show at the Dunes Hotel in Las Vegas. And, and uh, we'll be there about another two weeks, I guess. It's a wonderful show. Come up and see it. I will, and thank you for flying down for the day to uh, oh, be on our show. Oh, we were very happy, too. <laughs> Mickey's in the show, and he's doing a, a real, real terrific oh, job. Yes, he's outshining me. Oh. So the ladies will be glad <laughs> to hear Jamie, that. <laughs> Jamie, she's always brag about me. You know, it's, 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 it's one, one wonderful thing about You know, we always try to compliment each other. Yeah. And, and, and Janie always embarrasses me if she said things like that. <laughs> Don't knock a good uh, thing, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Is Jane this glamorous all the time? Oh, I tell you, she's fabulous, really. I, I, I'm, I'm every night in the show, you know, I'm, I'm just so, uh, so overwhelmed. You know, I see her every night on, in the show twice, and she's just so fabulous. I mean, uh, you, can see, time. you can see a packed house every night. I'm just really and fantastic. she's just glamorous at home, too? Yes, always, always. Now you've been accused of copying Marilyn Monroe. Is that true? Oh, my goodness, I don't know. 
Which came first, the chicken or the egg, but <laughs> I never copied anybody. How do you keep from being jealous when this uh, lovely wife of yours is appearing various places, premieres, for example, and the men gather around to look at it? <laughs> I, I, I tell you, I, I, uh, I really don't know what is, uh, what is to be jealous, because uh, I feel sure of uh, Janie, and, uh, and uh, we know each other quite well. And, uh, Ricky! <laughs> And, so and, uh, <laughs> and I think I think it's I think it's a compliment, you know. If uh, people uh, impressed about her and, uh, <laughs> and uh, they they, <laughs> they crying her, I think it's uh, it's wonderful. I mean, that's his business. You yeah. Know. Now you have three children. We have three beautiful children: Jane Marie, ten; Mickey Jr., twenty-three months. And, uh, oh, my goodness, he's two years. He's two years old. I, I can't believe it. Yeah. I always count in months. He's 24 months. And Zoltan, who's four or five months. Now, how many yeah. children do you hope to have? Ten. <laughs> We're hoping to have ten children. I, I, I hope to have some twins soon. <laughs> Not soon. <laughs> oh, you know, I mean, uh, having yeah. one by one, it takes a long time. Yes. Yeah, well, not being a mathematician, I know yes, nothing about that. <laughs> I do know that this is a gorgeous house, and we want to see more of it. And we will be back taking another tour of the home here, Jane Mansfield, Mickey Hargaday home, and we'll be learning more about them also. So we will return after this message. Beverly Hills, California, and this unique heart-shaped pool, and of course the large, unusual pink home on Sunset Boulevard, belong to Jane Mansfield and her husband, Mickey Hargaday. And we are going to take another tour upstairs, huh? Could we? Let's Wonderful. do. Dean, you must excuse me. I must go into my office to take out a few things. But Jane is showing you around. Okay. Thank you very much. See you later, Mickey. Thank you, Mickey. And the, uh, the tour that we were talking about will be coming your way after this message. And here we are in the nursery. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> I just caught that in the nick of time. And this would be... Hello, this is Mickey Jr. Hi, Mickey Jr. Excuse me Jr. for introducing him first. Nice meeting you, this sir. This is Jane Marie, our little daughter. Hi. Nice meeting you. And that's our youngest son, Zoltan Anthony. Mickey, give, give Zoli a kiss. Can you reach way over here give him a big kiss? <sighs> Mommy, help. Come on. Ooh. Kiss the baby. Kiss the baby. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> now, little it's Zoltan wonderful. is how old? Five months. Jane Marie, what do you want to be when you grow up? A movie star, just like mommy. She you want to be a movie star, huh? I'm girl. What'd you say? I'm girl. He wants to go, he said. Well, I don't know where he's going to go. Gonna go. Well, he has a lot of, a lot of things. There. What did you say? Mama, go there. Go where, honey? I'm going there. Go where, honey? He I'm doesn't know. <laughs> he just wants to get out of the way. Yes. Right? <laughs> Have uh, any of the children, I shouldn't say little Zoltan, but... Uh, Little Mickey and uh, Jenny Marie ever appeared professionally anywhere? Yes, Mickey was in my, my last picture. It happened in Athens with me, the uh -huh. one I just finished in Greece. And he's also been uh, on some commercials on television. Mm. And he was in another picture of mine called The Challenge that will be released here very soon. So he's quite a little actor. <laughs> Listen, can we see uh, your bedroom? Please, come and follow All righty. Mommy? Yes, my love. Goodbye there, Mickey. See you later. You go back to your sister. Hey, you, you take care of little Mickey, huh? Okay. And now we're going here. See, they're fine children you've got there, Janie. <laughs> they're very sweet. Now, let's see. Oh, what is this? Uh, that's, that's Sam. <laughs> We're sort of walking all over him right now. Am I allowed now. to stand on Sam? Yes, of course. Is, is there some record with Sam here? Is he the largest or yes, the smallest? Yes, he's the biggest bear, polar bear rug that's ever been, been uh, rugged. Rugged or shot. Yes. I'm glad I'm walking on him and he's there. Oh, and now let's go into I your bedroom. I wish he were alive. Oh, say, this is unusual, Janie. Now, this is a, what, a heart-shaped? It's a love seat, a heart-shaped love seat. <laughs> and these are all the dogs. Oh, that you yes, have. my little doggies and kitties and all. Does uh, <laughs> Nikki, or Mickey, I mean, buy these for you? Yes, he knows I love them. I do, I love to play with them. They're soft and cuddly and cute. Yes. <laughs> They're real nice, these little old dollars there. <laughs> and this is the heart-shaped bed I've heard so much about. Yes. You must have had right. that made special, I'm sure. That yes, it was, it was made special, of course. It's very comfortable, too. And everything in here, I notice, is pink. Yes. Thick rugs, and we're still <laughs> without shoes. Barefoot. Walking you around barefoot. You have to be. You have to admit, Dean. <laughs> and this over here is beautiful. This heart-shaped... Uh, marble fireplace. Marble fireplace. What is the significance here of all the pink and all of the heart-shaped things? It's a symbol to me of love and to Mickey as well, a symbol of something beautiful and wonderful and full of love, very dear. 
Well, it's obvious there's lots of love here. <laughs> May I see the bathroom? Yes, I hear there's a come big heart-shaped uh, bathtub in there Pink that I'm marble anxious as to well. see. <laughs> oh, this is very unusual, Janie. Very unusual. Mm -hmm. There. Now this is the interior here is gold mosaic. Gold mosaic. Side. And this is pink marble here, and there's a bathtub. <laughs> and I notice now the bathroom here, the bath area is entirely covered, wall, ceiling, floor, <laughs> with uh, kind of a pink fur, pink rugged fur ties. It's oh, it's so nice. You feel like a teddy bear is always hugging you. <laughs> and it's so quiet in here. Mm -hmm, it the is. acoustics are so great in here. Now, I notice over there that you have gold, uh, what do you call those? Fixtures. Gold this fixtures. One, and this one where the, the water runs out and the hot and cold faucet next to my vitamins. <laughs> now, had you always wanted a home like this, Janie? Oh, yes, I, I always did. I always dreamed of living in Hollywood and living comfortably. I'm very comfortable here. <laughs> I would say that you are. We will return to find out more about Jane Mansfield after this message. Back we are with Jane Mansfield in her unusual all-pink bedroom. <laughs> Why this, uh, this love of the color of pink? Did you answer that? No, I think it's the prettiest color in the world. And in addition to that, my, mother, my mother's house, my mother's home, my home when I was a little girl was pink in Dallas. And I loved pink then. Mm -hmm. I still love pink. My mama's house is still pink in Dallas. <laughs> Do you feel, uh, being an only child, that you uh, missed out much of life having no brothers, no sisters? I didn't think so until, until I, I met Mickey and knew what it was for Mickey to have brothers and a sister. I can't imagine what it would be like to have a brother and a sister. Mm -hmm. and I, I see how much he loves his brothers and his sister, and I think that this is wonderful. And, and I also see what my children, how they love each other. It's such a wonderful love. It's so beautiful to me. And I think I didn't miss out because I can enjoy it through my children loving each other. Don't you think it's very difficult, though, to stay unspoiled if you're an only child? Oh, I managed. <laughs> now, how old were you, Janie, when uh, boys first took notice of you? Oh, my word, four, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but when they really took notice of you, I suppose you're a little older. About 14, I 14. guess. 14. Were you uh, <laughs> embarrassed to all of a sudden find yourself a very attractive young lady being I, I looked at by I was embarrassed. I was terribly embarrassed about the whole thing, you know? And how did you react to all of it? Well, I, I used to hide away. <laughs> For instance, instead of eating lunch when I was a little girl in school because I was afraid the boys would look at me, I'd stay up in my home room and kind of hide and hope no one would come in. When did you have your first date? When I was 11. Now, do you feel that uh, that's a little young for girls to be dating? This was only in the afternoon. We went to a kitty show and rode our bicycles down on a Saturday afternoon and had popsicles afterwards. Now, I you have a little daughter. How old are you? Is she going to be when you allow her to go out on a date? <laughs> About 40. <laughs> I tell you, I don't, I don't mean 40, but I think that there's no need to rush things. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no sense in a 14-year-old child going out with boys. What can you do when you're 14? You're why? You, th there's so many other wonderful things in life, sports and, and becoming good in your studies and your brothers mm -hmm. and sisters and your parents. Just enjoy them. There's all your life to think about the opposite sex. Now, do you feel that uh, when you were 16, you were married? Mm. Do you feel that uh, it was because of youth that your marriage didn't work out? No, it, it didn't work out because I married someone I didn't love. Had I married Mickey, it would have worked out beautifully. But don't you think at that age you can't tell what is love, what is infatuation? Yes, I, I agree with you. It's very hard to tell between the two because you're just kind of blossoming out from a child to a woman and things are, are very exciting all over, you mm -hmm. know, and you don't quite understand too much about it. No, I, I don't believe in rushing things. There's no sense in it because I know I went to college, I had a baby under one arm and a chemistry book under another, and, and uh, it was just a little bit confusing. There's no sense in rushing it. The one advantage is being very young. I'm, I'm a, a, the mother of a 10-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. and I'm at the age now where most women are just beginning to have children. Mm -hmm. That's one advantage. 16 has its problems, and uh, you had many. Yes. How did you meet Mickey? Oh, I don't know. I think he descended from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, we were in a show. He was in a show in New York, and I was in the stage play, Will Success Spoils Our Country. 
and my producer took me over to see a show at the Copacabana where, where Mickey was playing, and I just fell in love with that man right then and there. What was it about Mickey that attracted you? Everything. Now, the two of you, did you find yourself sharing many of the joys and happiness of uh, New York? Yes, we've been sharing <laughs> joys and happinesses ever since then, all around the world. Now, Janie, you are a sex symbol, as it were. Uh, those are two it words. Were. That, I hope it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, is this a little embarrassing to you? You mean being a sex symbol? Yes. Would you rather be a great dramatic actress? If I had a choice between one or the other, mm -hmm. I'd rather be both. But if I had to choose between one or the other, I'd rather be me. <laughs> well, Janie, thank you very much for allowing us to visit this afternoon and for you coming down from Las Vegas. Thank you, Dean. It was my pleasure to have you as my guest. And good luck in the future. Thank you. And I shall return after this message. <laughs>